friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. The time has come for you to stop asking me to do the series three of the Yumi Toys magical capsules. <laughs> I got myself full display again from Smith's Toys and the woman at the counter was like, have you left any for anyone else? It was really funny. I was like, yeah, there's loads. Um, we've got many to unbox. We've got 12 and like we usually do, there's 10 to collect, which I'm very excited about. And these are brand new ones. And it's like, I mean, we'll talk about the actual capsule soon, but it's what we're gonna be doing. So if you want to see what characters we get today, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget to even click the subscribe button if you'd like to be part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, cause I need my cauldron of H2O. <laughs> Okay then, so here we have it, the box of magical capsules. Let's just talk about the box first. So these are the Harry Potter magical capsules series three. And there is 10 to collect and oh, look at that little, oh, we got a little bug beak. That's very cute, a little bobby. Anyway, so the difference with this series is that there are a couple of different magic reveals. We've got a scratch one and where you dip into water, whereas usually before Four, it was a heat press on series one with the heat of your hands and then series two you dipped into water so it's cool that we've got two varieties and I guess we'll find out which one we get actually I don't know if there's like we get that and that oh I think that's how, that's the spell reveal well that's exciting anyway so there are ten characters here are them all there's also a special oh my god you can get Tonks in this one and Trelawney oh you get no one wants umbrage though. Watch me get like 10 umbrages, oh my goodness. Okay, anything else on this box? It says seven surprises in every capsule, so that's pretty cool. Let's get going, let's get going. Look at all those capsules, look at them all. <laughs> I'm gonna put my capsules to one side, I'm gonna pick one here. We're gonna get started with capsule number one. Let's get inside. It's been a while since I've opened some of these, actually. Their packaging never gets easier, though. Why does it hate me so much? Okay, we're in. The first thing I've noticed is that the plastic capsule looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit more vintage, a little bit more detailed, which is quite nice. Let's dive in to number clue number one. Okay, so. This, I believe, is the scratch. Is this scratch off? Oh, yes it is. We've got a little tiny scratch off. Now, in my pocket, I've got Gringotts coin. So I'll just give it a, this coin's not, this ain't very good. Oh, <gasps> it's Gryffindor. Oh, it's better without the coin actually. So clue number one is a little Gryffindor. So we know that they belong to that Hogwarts house. Let's get into door number two. This time I'm gonna need my little cauldron of water to reveal the spell. Let's get it in. Let's see who it is. It says mischief managed. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. I mean, that could either be Harry or it could be like one of the twins. I can't remember what characters we have. So here we have the tiny little spell. Look how cute that is. So mischief managed. I'm hoping for, let's go for Fred, shall we? Okay, we're in. Got our little cheat sheet just to give you a little closer look of everybody that we can get. So yeah, I'm hoping for, uh, it's gotta be Fred or George, let's be real. Ooh, um, got a little owl post uh, thingamadoodle. Let's see, so this is gonna have a wand. Have they made the right ones? That actually looks like a Harry wand. Um, <laughs> this is so tiny. How do I even show you? It's like the world's smallest wand. Let's see who we've got. Leave your guesses down below. Oh, we've still got way more. Oh, oh my God, the items do not stop coming. Let's see what pieces we have. <gasps> it's a baby Dobby. Oh my God, it's so cute. Look how tiny, oh no. Look how tiny it is. It's the smallest Dobby you ever did see. <gasps> It's, oh my God, it's like a baby Dobby. That might be the cutest little Dobby I've ever seen. It's 
smaller than my thumb it's like half a thumb size that is just so cute let's put you down there maybe it's harry then because he did get gifted the marauders map by the twins oh a little tiny marauders map look how small how am i gonna show you this it's so tiny whoops i've lost it <laughs> never to be seen again thank you Right, let me see if I can show this. It's so small. It's the smallest Marauders map you ever did see. Okay, I think this might be Harry. Just because Dobby, the wand looked a bit Harry-like. He got given the map. And we've got Buckbeak, the Hippogriff. These are really cute, this series. I really, really like those. Like, how adorable is that? Look, at his little feet and his little hooves at the back. That's <laughs> very cute. Okay. Next up, the finale of Capsule 1. If I can get him out, he's like stuck in his tomb. Come on! Oh, look, they're like little Hogwarts trunks. Very adorable. Okay. It is! We got little Harry Potter. There he is in all of his glory. Let's give you your one so that you can do some magic. There we have it, little Harry. Okay, let's move on to the second capsule. Woo, number two. And that was a good start to start with the man of the hour, the chosen one. I really want Tonks or Trelawney. Okay, let's see. I don't even know what house Trelawney would be in. Am I being a fake fan? I'd like to place her in like Hufflepuff. Okay, let's see what house um, I'm going to give up with my Gringotts coin because I've found out that now... Oh, a Slytherin. <gasps> Who's it going to be? Who's in Slytherin from that? <gasps> I swear to God, if this is Umbridge, is there any more Slytherins? If this is Umbridge, I'm going to yeet her out my window. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the spell is. It's gonna be like one of the um, the unforgivable curses. Okay, so here is the spell card. Let me get my little magical cauldron out and let's dunk. Ooh. Ooh, Serpent Sortier. I've probably pronounced that wrong. Put your guesses in the comments of who you think this is going to be. Okay, we've got one, two, three. Ooh, there's one at the back as well behind <laughs> it's like bodies in like a body bag. <laughs> Sorry, I make it weird. Right, let's start with whatever this little thing is. What are you? I do not know what that is. It's, oh, flesh eating slug repellent, maybe? It's the world's tiniest bottle. I think it's slug eating flesh, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a very cute little thing. More clues. Oh, we've got a broom. That's a nice, it's, it's a bit bent, isn't it? Look. <laughs> Unless the special is Draco and we've just got a special maybe. Because Umbridge isn't going to need a Nimbus 2001. What wand is this? Let's have a look. Oh, this, I think this might be Draco, you know, because he's got a really boring wand. This is what it looks like. It's Teeny tiny. Okay, I think we might have got the special. Unless I'm getting like prematurely excited for it. Let's see what the other item is. Oh, <gasps> if that's not the cutest, tiniest little golden snitch you ever did see. Get out of the packet. Look at how small that is. Oh my God, I, I've got to do something with that because it's so cute. I should hide it on my shelves and get people to try and find it. Oh. <gasps> So cute, I do, I think we've got the special. Oh, on the second capsule? No, third, no, second. On the second capsule, right. Best reveal, it is, we've got the special, which is Draco looking uh, very grumpy and he's got his hands out. I tell you what, Daddy Malfoy bought him a very bendy broomstick. <laughs> Look how bendy his broom is. That's like, someone's put a spell on that. Ridiculous. But that golden snitch is the cutest thing I ever did see. Really liked that one. That was very cute. Okay then, capsule number three. Right, number one. Let's see who's it gonna be. We're gonna give it a little... Oh, we've got another Gryffindor, which to be fair, I'm not surprised because there's like a million Gryffindors. Let's move on to the spell. Is it gonna be one of the twins? Let's give the card a little dip and see. Ready? Blip, 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 blip. Ooh, Engorgio. 
I think that might be one of the twins. I feel like they'll be pranking people, making stuff bigger. <laughs> Let's have a look at the wand. These always feel empty because the wands are so small. I think, I think it might be one of the twins. Um, that just looks like a stick. I know that some people are like, that's what a wand look like. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What is that? Why does it look like a little poo? Like, I'm really confused what this brown thing is. It looks like a little poo with a cork in the top. A bomb? I don't know. Something from a skiving snack box, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> look, it's got to be one of the twins. Look, there's a teeny tiny little firecracker. Definitely Fred or George. Now, I still want to know what that little brown thing is. I still don't have a clue. Let's see what the final product for them. Oh, <gasps> no way. There's a teeny tiny little Weasley's, 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 Weasley's. Skyving snack box. That's so cute. I'm obsessed with that. It's probably my favorite prop that we've had from one of these. So let's get Fred or George from the back of the capsule. Give him some oxygen out of that trunk. Oh, I mean, it doesn't tell you which one it is, does it? I mean, they're probably gonna look the same, but I would have thought they would have put at least a G or... Oh, it's George because of the way that he's smiling, his face matches up to the George one. So that's pretty cool. I do like those little tiny clues that they gave us. I still don't know what that pooey one is though. <laughs> Capsule number four, please. Wow, thank you. She's in. Okay, clue number one. What house is it gonna be? Oh, another Gryffindor. So could be Hermione, could be the other twin. So let's see what spell we've got. Let's give it a dunk. Are you ready for the spell? Bloop, 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 bloop. Ooh, another mischief managed. I think we might have got Harry again. So I think I might go directly to the body bag. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I am. We had another little Harry. So I'm going to put him away to give to someone else to enjoy. Capsule number five. Thank you very much. Okay, we're into number five. Another Gryffindor. I'm hoping for a Hermione or another twin. Who knows who we're gonna get today? We've still got like a lot of capsules left. Got about seven after this one. Ooh, we've got a brand new spell, which is Herbie Victus. Could this be Neville? Is Neville an option? <gasps> mm, I think it might be Neville, if I've guessed correctly. Let's get all the goodies out, but I'm convinced it's Neville. I swear to God, if there's like a teeny tiny. Oh, <laughs> Trevor! It's teeny tiny Trevor. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Look at his little toad spots on his booty. I love that. It's definitely Neville then. Okay, that is adorable. That's so, so cute. Oh, oh my God, a little Cornish pixie as well. Why is it always me? Uh, <laughs> That's so cute. He's got some really adorable accessories. Oh, there's even a tiny, tiny mandrake. Oh my goodness. Look how small that little mandrake is. My heart can't take it. Little miniatures. Like, it just fills my heart with joy. Oh, we've got a very snazzy wand. This one's golden. Pretty sure Neville doesn't have a golden wand, but still, that's very nice. Let's get him on out then and reunite him with Trevor. There we go. I'm going to give him his little golden wand. There we have it. We've got Neville, Trevor. Oh, sorry. There you go. And his little, little mandrake and his Cornish pixie, which I'm sure he doesn't want hanging around him. Right. Pop you over here and open capsule number Five. No, six. I had a duplicate. <laughs> I can count. Just let me in. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what Hogwarts house. Ah, oh, it's another Gryffindor. You all right, Neville? Spell time. And bloop, 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 bloop. You've got to do the sound effects. Okay. Oh, Reducio. Might this be um, the other twin? Because if George had Engorgio and this is Reducio, they're kind of like opposites, so it would make sense. Okay, in pouch number one. Oh, this, I do not know what that's meant to be. Um, 
it's a telescope with a with a fifth oh dropping it with a fist on the end does anyone know what that's meant to be and then we had little brown stick for a wand the twins ones actually aren't that basic they have ones that kind of join together to look like a broom what is in here ah an extendable ear that's pretty cool i quite like the idea of putting that in it's so small and it's like camouflaging into my hand but we do we've got an i think we do we've got fred well that's nice together again <laughs> Okay, and the last thing is you know poo a little teeny tiny bottle of you know poo It's so small. I can barely see it Okay, let's get Fred out of the capsule And here he is with a different Expression let's give him his wand got to give them all their ones There we have it quite sweet. Here's your ear mate <laughs> capsule number seven, please Woo! Ow! You guys know the drill by now. Oh, a Hufflepuff. <gasps> I really hope it's Trelawney. Is Tonks a Hufflepuff? I think she might be. Everyone's going to be like, no, she is a fake fan. My brain can only soak up so much stuff. Protego. Hmm. Leave your guesses down below for capsule number seven. Okay, let's see what is in here. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, we've actually got a little magazine for the Yule Ball. Hufflepuff Yule Ball. I can't guess who this is meant to be. I guess we will find out. And then we've got, oh my God, that is the cutest. Look, it's a little jelly slug. How adorable is that? Whose wand is it? I think it is Tonks, but she didn't go to the Yule Ball, but I guess she liked the Daily Prophet. But I think that's her wand. So small. Let's see. Fourth and final clue before we find out who it is. It's another broom. Hmm. Who is it? Oh, yeah, I was right. It was Tonks. That's pretty cool. She looks like an absolute um love her hair very nice um cool that's one that i wanted i'm pretty happy with that Woo! okay capsule number eight. Oh, is it gonna be oh good ravenclaw let's see what spell it is three two one bloop, 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 bloop. oh it is a mobulus this one could be oh i don't know it could be mad eyes here, Ravenclaw. Let's see what is in here. What are you meant to be? Oh, it could be a tarot card. So it could be, have we got ourselves a Trelawney? Look how small, look at that. So I think that's a little tarot card. Let's see what else is in here? <gasps> yes, 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 yes. We've got Trelawney. Cause look, there's her crystal for her. Oh, look, it goes inside. Wee. Oh, that's adorable. That's actually one replica that I do not have is her little elephant held crystal ball. Her divination ball. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's adorable. Oh, dropped her cup, didn't I? So this is my dear, you have the grim. It's a little tiny divination teacup set, honestly. How small some of these things are is utterly ridiculous. Let's be real. Uh, it's like smaller than a fingernail. Okay, last clue. Not that we need another clue. Because we definitely know who it is. It's her wand. And that's even more like stick-like than any of the others. It's so, so tiny. Okay, let's get her out. We're doing well. Not to jinx it. We've got four more. We've got seven out of the ten that you can get with one duplicate. So, oh, look at her outfit. Oh, <laughs> that's fantastic. I really, really like that one. And then she could hold like, can you hold your little crystal ball? Probably not. What are you meant to be holding? I don't know. Either way, I think that's really cute. And I'm really glad that we got ourselves a Trelawney. <laughs> <laughs> Capsules number nine. What ass you gotta be in? We got a Gryffindor. We're still yet to get old Hermione. And then let's see what spell it is. Hmm, I feel like this might be a duplicate, but it could be someone else. Oh, Imperio. No, I don't think we've had that spelled yet. Could it be Mad Eye? Oh, that's a big boy. 
is this? It's huge. Oh, it is, you know, we've got Mad Eye. Look at all his little trunks that he was sat in the box. We're doing so well. We've got eight, two more. There's three more capsules. We need two more. So we need, who do we need? Oh, Umbridge. <laughs> Not, I, I can live without Umbridge. And Hermione after this. Oh my God, it's his little bottle of Polyjuice Potion. Oh, it's the cutest. Cool. I'm buzzing. We've got Mad Dye's walking stick, which you, again, you can buy the replica of this. It's absolutely massive, but it's not the prettiest thing in the world, hence why I do not have it in my collection. And then we've got his little wand. You all guys, you know what a wand looks like by now. Let's get him out with his little Mad Dye. Oh, they've made him look like youthful and... Oh. Never really imagined a youthful Mad Eye before, but there we have it. It's looking like it's ready for uh, some action. Okay, who reckons, before we carry on, who reckons that we're gonna get Umbridge and Hermione and get full set? We're on number 10. Who have we got? You can just about see it's a Gryffindor. So it could be Hermione, if this is Hermione. Ooh. Ah. Okay, come on. If it's Alohomora, it might be Hermione. Oh no, but it's Confundus. So it is a brand new spell. And I think it might be. I think it's gotta be Hermione, guys. I'm surprised they picked that spell. Oh my god, that means we're literally just missing Umbridge, which <laughs> is no bad thing. <laughs> Would not cry. But we have everyone else. Like, when does that ever happen to us? Ooh. Oh, oh, I've, I've spoiled you. Don't look. Don't look. Shut your eyes. Okay, mystery bits. We've got a wand. Okay, her wand absolutely does not look like that. But there's the wand. Um, there you go. It's a very pale wand. Then we've got, I mean, that's not very good, is it? That's terrible. I think this end bit was meant to be cut off and that was meant to be the shell that Hermione like lobbed regarding the whole Buckbeak scenario when she used her time turner. But that is terrible. It's on like a little stick. I don't, that's some bad molding. Terrible. Not impressed with these bits so far. I guess she could hold it in her hand, but it does look like a bit of um, a molding fault. Next up, oh, oh, isn't that sweet? We've got a little time turner. Look how small it is. That's the smallest time turner. In fact, no, it's not the smallest time turner I've ever seen, believe it or not. I've seen a much smaller one in a lot more detail with actual little chains on it from the Star Race things. But that's quite cute though. And the last item, so it's definitely Hermione, is a book. Oh, <laughs> how disappointing. It's literally just a brown slab that's meant to be a book. Okay, good. Let's get her out then. Here she is. Oh, she looks a little bit demented. Look at her face. She has been through it. It's all that time turner work she's been doing. Um, <laughs> we've got two capsules left. Are we gonna get Umbridge? That's the question. And I have noticed, oops, there is two hands open so she can hold her shell. It just looks like she's holding it like a, a wok or a, or a hairbrush of some sort. It does look a bit like she's about to flip something. Very weird. Okay, last two capsules. Give some Umbridge vibes. No, don't. We don't want Umbridge vibes. Okay. We're in. Okay, we've got two more capsules. Let's go for it, Umbridge. Yeah. Okay. She's absolutely slithering. You cannot convince me otherwise. Oh, it's a Gryffindor. I'm not even showing you, but it is a Gryffindor. Just trust me. Let me in. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I spilt water. No. Right. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's Confundus. I can't remember who that is, but we have had... I think that might be another mad eye i'll open one of the little packets just to confirm oh no it's a no it's hermione we've just had her okay so that's another duplicate that means definitely not the best or last if this is umbridge that would have been so cool if, we, if this is umbridge and we got the whole set but as i said not gonna cry over her being missing from the oh, look at that oh, 
It's one that's actually open. Nah, I spoke too soon. Yeah. Right, okay. This has got to be Slytherin for it to be her. <laughs> it's Slytherin! That means this could be Umbridge. Right, number two. Let's see what spell. Could we, like, make history on this channel and get a full set? Ladies and gentlemen, this is in Carcarus. There we go. Look at that. We got a full set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. <laughs> I'm actually feeling well, like, ooh, that's never happened except the time that I bought a full set and it was meant to be the full set i just didn't realize let's have a look at the wand yep there we have it that actually looks like umbridge's wand sort of it's got a little pink bit in the middle can you see a little pink bit okay let's move the spell water that's so fun that we got them all just ignore my wet patch on the table we'll put umbridge in it in a moment <laughs> so she can simmer down oh that's cute they've made her a little oh they've actually made oh my god let me show you a teeny tiny little kitten teacup that's so cute it's actually printed on both sides as well but they've made a kitten that's adorable love it i've got to say as much as i despise umbridge she's got taste in accessories <laughs> let's see what else Ah, of course, classic Umbridge, a proclamation. So, so small. I do like those posters. And then last, oh, they've actually given her a kitten. This looks like a Disney cat, doesn't it? I can't remember what the Disney cat's called. Is it like Maisie or something? Oh my God, that is so cute. Of course she has a kitten. Let's get her out then. Oh, to be honest, I kind of want to keep her in her trunk. <laughs> I just keep her in her little trunk with like without air holes. Um, dark. Okay. Oh, she does. She looks like a. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her face. Um, she's hot. <laughs> like, get out of here. Um, <laughs> where'd she go? Oh, she can stay on the floor. It's fine. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, you, shoes. you smashed her little teacup. Right. She can lie in the water. It's what she deserves. I cannot believe we got the full set, guys. Um, I'm going to have a little tidy up to show you all of the magical people, wizards and witches and pets and everything that we got today. And I'll be right back. So there we have it. The full set of 10 from the Harry Potter Magical Capsules Series 3. We got them all. It's a first on this channel. So that's pretty cool. Who was your favourite? I think mine was probably Trelawney. I think that was really cute. But I also really liked the accessories with the twins. And I've just realised, because my brain was just buzzing, um, this little brown thing that I was like, what is it? It looks like a poo. It's a dung bomb. Of course it is, which I think is a nice little nod to the Weasley twins. So if you enjoyed this video and you got this far, give it a cheeky little thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply to as many of you as possible. But whoo, I can't believe we got them all. I'm still like, what? <laughs> That's so cool to have a full set. That's really, 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 really cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very soon in another video.